ya otogolio wa furuli utige kwe hada nila na hadu hogu wa kwenye itoge ni melio ya uigua no etajira hako ni nadoga mano elira shogiri meruruga no elira alehera furuli hadha na nene ikudishi ruguru wa kikudi kirene kia uchaguzi platform ni mwakele ile ohudhiri wahi nya mwakele ulea uh, kana wa maafitha afuridhi hedi ya meruruga no ulea shogiri ili ikuna guralo kulea lea maletia ihoto na jina ya kururuga na The bipartisan talks gave Kenyans a glimmer of hope as it created a golden opportunity for issues affecting Kenyans to be deliberated and addressed. We reiterate the importance of the talks and the need for our leaders to exercise uh, patience, soberness, selflessness that is needed to resume and see through the talks. We also, we also wish to emphasize the need for the talks to go beyond political interests and genuinely encompass the diverse concerns and aspirations of all Kenyan citizens. Only through in inclusive dialogue can we address the root causes of discontent and pave the way for a more just and equitable society. We are appalled by the alarming incidents, incidences witnessed recently where some peaceful protesters exercising their democratic right to picket were met with unnecessary force and arbitrary and un unlawful arrests by the National Police Service. It is disheartening to witness such actions in a country that prides itself on upholding principles of human rights and freedom, and, and freedom of speech, and which is sovereign by the Constitution of Kenya, in which the freedom of assembly and the expression is enshrined. It is worth noting that as civil society, through our partners, the Oko Uchumi Coalition, we presented our proposal to the relevant committee in May 2023 on how the government could shift focus from overtaxing citizens and businesses and laws on applying austerity measures, addressing corruption and illicit financial flows, and strengthening assets recovery to shield one inch from the high cost of living.